We're skipping the intro today because purple and black squares mean trouble. A couple of you have been asking, how do you get the libraries imported into the ultimate eye template? So I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone, fixing library problems and upgrading to the ultimate Archicad library version two. Today, we're doing it all on the Make My PC custom built desktop on the left here. This bad boy has served me extremely well over the past few months and my hat goes off to the team that Make My PC. There's a link down in the description if you're looking to buy your own custom architectural PC. But anyway, first things first, we wanna come up to the top, file, libraries, library manager. And you'll see we've got a couple problems in our library. First of all, the first five are missing. And then secondly, the biggest questions I get on Patreon about the libraries not working properly is the library packs. So if this is your first time using the template, let's just go ahead and delete every library. Select them all, remove. The first thing you wanna do is go to add. And in my Tomich library, you'll see T00 through to 05, but you also see the Archicad lib packs. So by default, Archicad comes with its own lib packs installed. To make sure everything works the way I've set it up, you have to use my lib packs. So double click on lib packs, select them all by clicking on the first one, holding shift, clicking on the last one, and then pressing open. Archicad will do its thing by populating all of the lib packs. And then next we go add once again, we'll go back and select the six main folders. So DT00 materials, site elements, electrical, plumbing, mechanical, and furniture. In this update, the biggest thing we're talking about is furniture. There are so many new items added, which we'll get to. So we hit open, those six libraries are imported in and we simply click OK. Once you've downloaded the library, you may or may not get this corrupted error. Just disregard it. There's nothing corrupted. It's just a OneDrive, a Google Drive or a cloud storage system issue. So if you've saved your libraries onto a cloud storage, you might get that. Just hit OK. And in a matter of seconds, our troubled purple and black squares all disappear because our textures are now relinked to the materials folder. What you'll notice straight away is we have a few items thrown in to our template model. We're talking specifically about living room, dining room, and office furniture in this major library update. I've trolled through thousands of pages of objects for specifically dedicated Archicad library parts. And I found the best ones for you guys. So if we take a sneak peek out the side, you'll see there is a plethora of objects at the back. But as always, let's start with our ground floor plan and work through the categories. Now, I've left all of the new furniture elements in the 3D window, and I haven't put them in the resources section just yet. Underneath 3D objects, I will include living, dining, and home office. When this template goes live, I just wanted to be able to show you everything in one collective series. So on the left-hand side, we have all our dining tables, then our dining chairs, then our living room tables, our living room armchairs, our living room sofas, and of course, our office furniture. Each one of these is a real item. You can purchase it if you so choose, but that's not the reason why I wanted to import custom furniture in Archicad. First of all, all these items you see in front of you still aren't the absolute best 3D objects you can get on the market because those objects aren't specific to Archicad. They're specific for rendering software like D5, for example. So this isn't intended to be used in renders. It can be most certainly because the objects are of high enough quality and high enough detail to produce a good quality render. They're more so to help you visualize and aid you through the design process. So for instance, if I fly back into this house, instead of having a generic boring table in this space, I can have a custom wooden table with custom chairs around all sides ready to go. Now, for me personally, this helps me visualize my space really well. It helps me remember that chances are I'm not gonna be able to match my cabinetry to my dining table. Now, am I okay with that design decision? Absolutely, in this case, I could be okay with it. You know, the floors are a different color, the timber's a little bit of a different color, and then the dining table becomes your statement piece. This looks to be handcrafted, so you know, beautiful story behind it. Whereas if I was to quickly switch that out for the standard Archicad object, this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a very basic, boring 3D shape that just fills a space, but serves little to no purpose besides being a placeholder on a floor plan. So instead, we have a good placeholder that we can drag and drop into our model. And when we're looking at it in 3D, it actually brings us a little bit more joy. And that's genuinely the reason I've imported all of these items to help become placeholders, to tell the narrative of the floor plan, 
but also to help us make better design decisions as we're actually progressing through our work. Now, enough of that. Let's see what we've actually got here. In front of me, there's a series of dining room tables. The first three are identical. If I open it up, you'll see we can change the size of the table and as well the three Munich wood colors available also. I've left them all as a standard Munich wood, so you can go ahead and change them if you need to. The fourth is a different style of wooden table. The fifth, travertine on top. Then the sixth and the seventh get a little bit cheaper and a little bit more basic. So for example, this one has very little options outside of changing the material itself. But most of these tables here will cover your standard dining room table sizes. So you won't have to think about what size is standard dining room table. You can click on this one, go, ah, two four by one meter, perfect. I know that's a dining table I can pick or I can get custom made. After that, we have a series of dining room chairs. Now, each one of these dining room chairs, including the two bar stools at the front, again, is relatively customizable. So let's take this one in the middle, for example, Command T, open it up. You'll see that the structure color can be changed from steel to chrome. And we have a plethora of different colors to choose from if we don't like that material. Now, all of these colors aren't built into the specific materials. They are specifically for these chairs because they're obviously real chairs. If we scroll across to the end, you can go product URL or link to manufacturer and see what that chair actually is. Irrespective, I picked a couple generic colors that relatively play in with most of the palettes that we designed to. So we're not going too bold as a default piece. We can select a bold color if we need it. None of these dining room chairs are excessively exciting. They're all relatively standard dining room chairs because unfortunately, nobody has taken the time to create a plethora of incredible custom objects for Archicad. You know, there's so many for Revit, there's so many for SketchUp, but specifically for Archicad is a little bit limiting. So what we have is the best of the best, which in its own right is a little bit sad. But at the same time, I'm working with a few companies to see if I can bring custom furniture specifically for Archicad straight to you guys. So make sure you stay subscribed and stay tuned for that. Moving on, we have quite a few living room tables from small side tables to main dining tables to coffee tables, side tables, and your main round dining tables. The last round dining tables are just the same table, different colors, different sizes, because once again, open that up, we can change the color, we can change the size and the level of detail. I've left them all as 300 because when you drop to 200, 100, you know, the level of detail drops pretty poorly. And we are going for a relatively high level of detail template here, 300 and above is the goal. Moving on, some of the armchairs are quite nice. So for example, this first armchair right off the bat is a statement piece itself. Then we move down a little bit more in quality and caliber until we get to the last one, which one that's again is of the higher caliber, a nice Hamptons or modern coastal style that can go in quite a lot of home designs. That single seater has a two seater pair at the back, which is quite editable as well. So for instance, you can have a side table in the middle if you wanted to for coffees, teas, you know, whatever. It's part of the actual model. For me personally, I don't think I'm gonna use that too often, so I've left it off for the default model. Now, this is honestly where I hit the absolute worst furniture available for ICAD on the market. These sofas are simply terrible. The best one is this maroon one at the very back, and even that is not the best. So I'm gonna to continue to work on this section here to try and find you better sofas as soon as I can. But for now, we're stuck with a few blocks that will hopefully just do the trick. Last but not least, we have our office furniture because well, we're in an office, right? Most of us spend all of our days sitting in an office chair, sitting at a computer desk or standing at one if you're lucky enough. So I thought I'd introduce a couple nice office chairs and a couple nice office desks. Two sit stand desks that you can actually hit the pink hotspot in the middle and increase it to a standing height or decrease it to a sitting height if you want. Same with the black one behind. And then one fixed desk and one fixed sit stand desk that you can't do anything with. But it is a little bit more relevant to most users because that's probably similar to what you'd get straight out of IKEA. With the office chairs, I've tried to select things that are gonna be relevant to as many people as possible. I haven't gone for the Herman Millers or you know your $6,000 armchairs. I've picked relatively simple yet ergonomic chairs that most of us will use in our designs. A couple of them have the same material change options. So you can change chrome, polished aluminum or 
potentially even a black at the bottom. And then again, tons and tons of different fabric options. The one at the very end has additional options such as armchairs, adjustable, fixed, headrest, yes or no, upholstered, etc. So some of these have some great versatility options for you to choose from and utilize. And that's it. That's all for the major update for this month for the Ultimate Arcad template. I've added a ton of hand selected and curated pieces of furniture for you to utilize in your own projects and of course throughout the Arcad template series. But like I said, anyway, that is all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you want a copy of the Ultimate Arcad template, it's available through Patreon down in the description below.